Welcome to another teardown video. This time it is something completely different. A programmable rotary attenuator. Flawn Microwave Instruments England. All right. Whew. What we got here is calibrated in 1982. Ooh, you need to recal it as well, right? <laughs> so there's a really, really. Oh, this is a heavy duty. Oh, some screws are missing, or it's supposed to look like this. So this is the monster from another planet. Well, not really. It doesn't really say anything about frequencies. So I had to drive all the way through the country to get access to uh, a network analyzer that could do 8 gigahertz. And what I'm doing here is I am sweeping from 4 to 8 um, just to see the range of this uh, thing. And let's uh, go to the marker here and dial it up. So, and 4.9. This is where the fun begins. And then it's quite flat. And this, this, uh, this curve you see here that is not really flat, that is because I'm using really long and thin and shitty. Not, I didn't zero this. I could have zero those cables here. And then it would, of course, be flat all the way up here. But because this is... This is some high frequency stuff, right? So, at least we know the 4.9. This is where this uh, starts. And it is mainly because of the pickup antennas and the dimensions of, of all this. And also, there's a waveguide. So this is a waveguide thing, obviously, right? No big surprise. So, the, uh, the electrical signals is uh, converted into a waveguide uh, signal that travels inside this uh, wave with a little antenna in uh, both ends. And there's a motor and probably some sensors so we know where it is. It's supposed to be built into some larger and more fancy-pansy uh, equipment. Um, I just looked a little bit at the wires because I had the idea to begin with I could just take the two Thickest one, that will probably be the motor, right? And this is obviously Earth or something. So I had the idea, okay, let me <laughs> let me access those wires and put on some DC and then access the motor and see the curve go up and down and barbecue your uncle. But it's not that easy at all. One here is a coax. What? I did not expect that. And it's four white, four pink, and a yellow, uh, it just don't compute. What is this? And the connector is just a DP15. That's what it is. So the, we need to open this. There's no other way. And we like that, don't we? So it's teardown time. Look at that. Isn't that just something? So there's some sort of a sensor in there, right? And this is somewhat transparent. So when it goes down there, yup, yup, then we know it's turning. This sound is really funny. But when I turn this, see what happens here? See? Good attenuation. Let me crank it back and see. So, how is this working? It goes all the way up to. See, then it stops. Okay. I bet 
this is a little bit more than 5, 3.8 dB. And here's my idea. Let me just uh, put a sausage here and connect these. Go. And then 3.7 dB. So, so this thing goes to zero. Cool. But how is it working? It's really, really beautiful with all the mechanics and so that will be the wires for the motor and four. So it's a stepper, all right? I also got some wires down there for some sort of magic down there. Ah. It is that slider, so there's an electrical slider here, and see, so there's also an end switch there, but there's also a mechanical micro switch here. Oh my god, let's make this complicated, shall we? Here's what I did now, I did it right. I, I threw calibrated, but well, okay, I should have did it with you know open and short and yada yada, but. It's just a, a, a through calibration. And now we are back to a nice flat from about five to eight gigahertz, even through those uh, long cables. And now we can try and dial the motor and see. Let's see if I can. This is super fine. I'm gonna get. Oh. So that was 10 dB. Look at that. It is flat as a pancake. Oh, it's actually getting more and more aggressive as I turn it. Ooh. 40 and then of course it just goes out of the screen. I should have taken 10 dB per division, but anyway. And it's pretty cool. We got an alternator. Mechanical for insane high frequencies and probably also quite a lot of power. But where is everything going when it's not going through? It is going to be reflected into a load. So that means we have we need to have a load, right? So where, where's the load? This is really, really nice. So, oy, 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 oy. so here is how it works. When it rotates, it rotates the polarization from one antenna to another one, or it actually couples this kind of shorting thing that is here in the middle of the round waveguide. As you can see here, there's metal on it like that. So this is actually like a short circuit. You can imagine that the, the wave that is going in here, this way, right? So when you move it that way, instead of that way, you'll get a tonation, right? And if you look at the other part that I took out. This one goes like this, or like that, right? So, see, this is the same as that for low loss or for zero dB attenuation. But when it is rotated, the wave will hit those reflexes so it's not hitting back in the antenna but it's just bouncing so that is really cool and then you got the antenna and it is that way and this is of course not in the center <laughs> oh you got a little trim yeah the other trim here is all the way out and this is I suppose because this one is really really heavy 
There's also support for an O-ring, but it's not mounted here because this unit is not supposed to go outside anyway. So this is how this beautiful variable attenuator works. Look at the ball bearing and everything. We got feed through capacitors for the four stepper motor windings. So this will be a common for the stepper motors and then four individual windings to the common. So this is the old style of driving steppers, but it's really, really simple. All you need is four transistors and then you just, you know, pulse them like that and then you can step it. So it's really, really nice and easy. I really love the mechanics here. So if anybody want to have this, it is up for trade next week. Look at that stop. For super accurate. This is just some pro gear. Oh, just to be sure that I'm not a super clown, I assembled everything and I didn't move the attenuation, so everything is straight in here. And of course, it is in the low loss. I think I'm gonna put this for 10, 10 dB and then I'm gonna assemble the lid and I'm gonna put this up for trade. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Come back soon.